We're going to make sure that Will, we're going to see if Will G here has his custom material in place here. There, there. We might be running into a little bit of a, an issue here with Will G not having the correct material. He may need to put in a custom material or a custom mask here. So we're going to see what he's going to do. It looks like he is going to get in and create a new custom material on the fly for all of us. Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's CAD vs. CAD tournament highlight, we're going to see an epic battle between two CAD experts. And if you enjoy this format of looking at a 2D drawing and trying to turn it into a 3D model, be sure to take a look at our website, TooTallToby.com. We've got over 200 of these 2D to 3D CAD challenges, many of them real-world parts, very similar to what you see our competitors doing in today's CAD vs. CAD highlight. So be sure to check Check out the website you can get started today and as always let me know down in the comments what you thought about today's model and what you thought about today's cad vs cad battle chat just says wow yeah that's that's how i felt my friend that was that was awesome so i love seeing people use multi-body like that uh, it's such a clever clever workflow and, and definitely unlocks a lot of power moves all right, guys, here we go. Let's get into this next challenge. And of course, in order to get into the next challenge, we have to turn to the Wheel of Fate. And you can see there's only four choices. So your clairvoyance could just be based on those four choices. Did anybody guess four last time? It was Jern, right? Jern guessed four, I think. Maybe I'm mis miscrediting him. Oh, a bunch of people guessed four. Ben guessed four last time. He got it right. Oh, just Ben. <laughs> a bunch of people named Ben. Just one. Good job, Ben. All right, let's see what we got this time around. We got five, eight, two, nine, ten, eight. We got uh, Ronjan is in here in the chat. What's up, man? Ten, two, Ben gets four. Yep, thank you, Jern. And Dusty Techno, former competitor. Great to see you in here, my friend. Says eight. Kirfin, Kirtan says nine. Let's go. Eight, nine, eight, five, and ten. All right, there is no five. All right, good. Mason makes things five. <laughs> I like it. I like his style. Here we go, guys. Let's give this thing. I'm going to give it a little shuffle first. Shuffle, 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 and spin. Let's see what the Wheel of Fate has in store for us. Looks like it's going to be nine. Number nine. Let's go. Okay, guys. Well, this is gonna be a very interesting challenge here for sure. And uh, let's learn just a little bit more about our runners. So you can see here, Ricardo, he drew the historical Ferrari F40 on his YouTube channel. And he's a YouTube teacher at the beginner level with 280 followers. Yo, congratulations, guys, visit Ricardo Jean. Let's give Ricardo Jean some follows here on YouTube. And under pressure, I design fast like a leopard. Pay attention, I'm dangerous. Yo, Cobra Cad. Cobra Cad never die. And here we see Will G. I design mostly staircases, self employed, also teach SolidWorks, and I love hiking and trail running. Yo, that's what's up. Good luck to all of our runners in this tournament. Thank you all so much for tuning in. The time is now. Here we go. This next cab battle featuring Ricardo Jean from Italy using SolidWorks, our number two seed, going up against Will G from France using SolidWorks, our number 15 seed. This CAD vs. CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in X, 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 X grams? Tolerance is plus or minus five grams, and this part is made from red oak. Custom material here. We let our runners know ahead of time the four materials we use, and red oak is one of them, and Guys, both of our runners already have a screenshot. Both of our runners are already into the CAD system. This is a model that's basically just a bunch of rectangles. So it's there's not that much exotic in here, but we're going to see who's got their, their skills down, who's going to make a misstep, and who is going to come up with the correct mass on this thing first. So Will G drawing first blood, I think. Maybe Ricardo Jean. Both of them creating a very similar first feature, and both of them now creating that lower section. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I misspoke about the number one seed. I see the chat is lighting up. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Sebastian is the number one seed. We'll po we'll, we'll show the uh, bracket at the end here again. Wow, guys. Both of our runners creating very similar geometry on the bottom. Ricardo Jean creating both of those extrusions for the side legs at the same time. Oh, 
Looks like maybe he's got the incorrect thickness, though, for some of those legs. Let's see what he does to resolve this. Looks like maybe there was a, a possible misstep there from Ricardo Jean. Didn't realize what the correct thickness was for those legs. And we see that Will G on the right is getting in there and creating that second leg, creating it to the correct thickness. Nice work, Will G. And Ricardo Jean <laughs> proves me wrong and comes in with the correct, with the, uh, with the correct with it. But the answer that he comes in with 9941, that is not correct. 9942 is his answer. That is not correct. I was trying to say he had the correct width. I didn't realize his workflow, but his answer is incorrect. 9942 is not correct. And this match continues. I was, I was shocked because I thought he did something wrong and he did it absolutely right. But the mass was not correct. 9942, that is not correct. Guys, our runners are allowed to answer incorrectly one time, and then they have a chance to try to fix it. But if you answer incorrectly twice, that's it. FPV Kev says, come on, Ricardo. Don't make me unsubscribe to your channel. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Now, Ricardo Jean going around and trying to figure out what is going on with this model. And we're going to see here that uh, we've got Will G. We're going to make sure that we'll, we're going to see if Will G here has his custom material in place here. There, there. We might be running into a little bit of a, an issue here with Will G not having the correct material. He may need to put in a custom material or a custom mass here. So we're going to see what he's going to do. It looks like he is going to get in and create a new custom material on the fly for all of us. Uh, we, we do have the material names posted, but Will G is going to get in there. And we're going to see here that uh, both of our runners are very close to submitting their answers. We're watching the chat. We're watching the chat. And Ricardo Jean comes in with an answer. One, zero, one, eight, eight grams. And that is correct. And Ricardo Jean is gonna move on in this tournament. And uh, potentially a little bit of controversy there. Uh, Will G with the, uh, with the custom mess. We do try to let all the runners know ahead of time about the different custom materials. Uh, but uh, uh, there may, maybe Will G just didn't have that one queued up. It does happen. Uh, but wow, 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 guys. Ricardo Jean taking that one down. Made a mistake on his first answer. Was able to identify where the mistake was. And was able to come in with the correct answer. Well done, my friend. He tricked me along the way. I thought that maybe he had put in the incorrect depth for those legs on the side, but it looked like he was just planning out to just kind of cut them away. So, wow, wow, wow. And uh, I'm curious, Will G, once you got that uh, custom material in there, did you come up with the correct answer? You can let us know just for a little uh, satisfaction here if you want to check it and see if you did get the correct answer. It's always cool to know. It looked like you were on the right track.